Jeff, do you like this market? Do you, do you just keep buying here as we go incrementally higher, or what do you do? Well, I think you do. I mean, I, I think it's hard to argue the fact that eventually we're going to set another record in the Dow. The S&P is going to hit 19. Uh, it's just the way that it, it, it goes. I think that it, there is probably a short-term correction that's going to happen in the summertime. But, you know, the Fed has reason to be kind of skeptical or, or wring its hands, as you say, about the rally. I mean, we all do. The, you look at the stats that we saw a couple weeks ago about how we've made up back all the jobs we lost since... Uh, the financial crisis, well, we're, we're 1.6 manufacturing jobs short. So, I mean, if you look at the details of everything, it's like that Dickensian best of times, worst of times stuff. It, you, you see what you want to see in the market. So I, I am buying still, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not all that super confident that we're going to be nothing but blue skies ahead. Yeah. I think we could see some speed bumps along the way this summer. The other thing that raised eyebrows, Anthony, last week was when the, uh, Janet Yellen was saying she didn't think stocks were overvalued or in bubble territory, which is rather unusual for a Fed share to say publicly. Is that a green light just to buy stocks here? Well, I think it's a sign that uh, the Federal Reserve doesn't want to cause any panic. So I guess she was probably coerced into answering the question that way. But when you look at stocks and you look at consensus earnings, we are really looking at price earnings ratio hovering very close to 16. And we know the 15 year average is about 16.3. So against that backdrop, I can't disagree with that view. You too, Jeff? Well, I would argue, too, that, I mean, multiple expansion is kind of the, the hallmark of a bull market. So I wouldn't hate too much on the fact that we're just slightly above the norm. I mean, an average is an average. It means a mean. Sometimes you're a little high, higher than that, and it's not a big deal. I mean, my concern, though, is, is that from, from sector to sector, there are things that just look not very good to me. I mean, if you look at, for instance, the, uh, um, the GoPro IPO that's, that's up on the books right now, or Uber's valuation, it's like things like that really bother me because it doesn't look like there's a lot of profits there and investors are just throwing money around. I think you, you can't say about the market broadly that just multiple expansion is a bad idea, but I think if you look at a lot of subsectors, we are seeing a lot of froth, and I think that's where investors need to be careful. Where, where, be where would you be buying right now? What do you like? Well, personally, I like right now, I actually like enterprise tech. I mean, it's odd that Oracle made their acquisition today. Uh, I think that long term, enterprise tech is a great place to be. The valuations are very good there. Companies like Oracle, Cisco, even Microsoft, they have pretty affordable PE ratios relative to the rest of the market. Decent dividend yields. If you believe in the recovery long term, maybe there's going to be some short term trouble. But eventually, businesses are going to spend more uh, on technology. And that's really going to help these large cap enterprise tech companies. So, you know, if you have a horizon of 12, 18 months, I would definitely consider buying some enterprise tech on a dip, maybe even Oracle today. 